way. Um, so we have our face selected, and we basically choose the knife tool. And you'll see the instant you do that, you get this little icon that floats around. Now, if you look down at the bottom, you'll see there's different options. So if I actually hold down the control key, it automatically goes to the middle, uh, which is handy. Uh, so then I click left mouse button to apply that. I can hold down um, basically control again to get that, click it, and then the last time you hit space or enter to apply it, now I've divided that into two, as opposed to the subdivided, I would divide it into more. Um, similarly, if I wanted to, I can come in with the knife again and come in here and get that and come in and let's see if get that and then hit space bar and now we've subdivided it that way and then do it one more time. Um, okay, and click here and there and get this one done. Come on left space bar and now we have it subdivided. So this is actually a, probably an easier way and if we wanted to do something like add a door, now I have everything we need. Um, I can go back into vertex select mode and do some moving if I want to kind of adjust the size of the door or if I select all of this I can move it back and forth so I can kind of adjust the, the room and then I can use the um, couple techniques. Uh, one technique we've already looked at is to basically just um, select the single uh, face and then you can separate it to make it a door or something like that. And if you want to add doors, um, you can just do a basic shape for the time being. And if you want class, you can just uh, keep it empty and not existing um, right now.